Hello everyone, welcome back to Ion X Craft. Uh, I have a lot to do in a very short amount of time to do it because the weekend's almost over. So I have here is a bunch of uh, blocks and things that I've been collecting since last night. Um, and I'm going to turn this into the next little mini game shopping thing and uh, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of work. But I also did a lot of resource collecting, um, so I've got a bunch of uh, shulker shells to uh, make chests with, or shulker boxes with, so that is going to help out a bunch. And, like I said, I still have the three wither skulls, so I am going to uh, deal with that. But I'm going to be using a lot of this, and probably a lot of pumpkins I'm going to steal from Riff. But, I'm going to get started on this first. Alright, so I have the basics of the building uh, built out here. And uh, now just to fill it up with all the blocks. So the premise of this is uh, there are five dispenser tubes, uh, or dropper tubes, I should say, that control what blocks will show up, one that shows lighting, and one that shows color. Okay, with everything in the system, basically what will happen is I have to replace uh, this lever with a button. But when I hit the button, it should give me five random blocks, a light source, and a color. And that'll help me uh, determine how I'm going to build this one in future buildings. So I have brought Riff uh, over here to come test this out and help me out. Just to uh, give a little overview. Um, there are five of these modules that will dispense an item into another dispenser, which will then dispense one of those uh, five items into... Gotta love the echo. Uh, into this barrel. So this is to help come up with a random block palette for a build. Okay. So if I hit this button... In just a second we should get... Uh, oh, this is going to be a very interesting build. Take a look. I'm already looking at it. That's actually that's the color scheme of my uh, house. That's like the... This is exactly, almost exact to the color scheme of my, the color palette of my house. That's fun. So I'm going to have to go harvest some skulk. Uh, packed ice. The windows will be blue. This is going to be an interesting one. What is this for? No, this is the now block palette for this building. Oh. It would match with that over there. Yeah. And the skulk looks really good uh, again. Uh, deep slate, like, uh, the oh, brick deep slate slabs. Oh, I can't use brick deep slate. This is it. Oh. So, I mean, it's not bad, but... Oh, there's the first alarm. Uh, we'll have to take care of that real quick. We're making, uh, dinner, so, uh, thought that alarm was gonna take a lot longer. But yeah, this is, uh... The way I've done this is that the warp stem, I can use the, any of the wood. So the wood is, I get to use all of it. Um, sand is just sand because sandstone is a separate thing. And ice is kind of all the ice. Uh, uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting build. What would payment be? Oh, this is free. This is just for fun. Oh. You want to try one? Uh. Sure. Give it a go. This will be your next building. Somehow... Did you hit the button twice? No? Did I? I may have. Did I? Oh, no and way. you just shuffled it. <laughs> That's okay. Um, ironically enough, this is a lot of the stuff you already have. Concrete powder would be all of the concrete powders. Oh no, it would either be purple or uh, light blue. Oh yeah, I have honey blocks to give you. Oh, thank you. Well, you might need them now. <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the return. But this is just an interesting concept. I oh, did you shuffle them? Oops, sorry. You're good. I just need to remember what blocks I needed to do Am for- Am I breaking it somehow? I got- 
I'll have to take a look at that. I don't know. Let me go uh, work on dinner. So do you think we should have it dispensed twice? Because that's definitely not how it's supposed to work. Um, how did I screw this up? That's how I screwed... Uh oh. <laughs> that's not good. I think the smaller uh, pallets would be nicer. And more easier to manage and you're not getting as weird blocks. I never put in the uh, collection system. That's why it's getting double powered. Uh... That's going there. Interesting. I'm gonna have to work on this now. Okay, so I figured out some of the problems with this, and I've uh, put in a return system as well. The problem I'm having now is there's supposed to be five that go off, but when this uh, comes in, starts coming in, we only get four, then we get the color and the dye, or the, the dye and the, the light source. So I don't know which one of these is not firing correctly, and I can't seem to figure out what it is. So I asked you over here to, uh... Well, let me clear out the thing here first. I need to figure out why this isn't firing, and I can't do it by myself. I guess I could have. I'm just lazy. Okay. So, what I want you to do is, I'm going to stand up here... I want you to hit the button for me. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, they're all firing. Okay, I'm completely confused. Still no light source. Oh, there was a light source. It was a campfire. Yeah. Interesting. I guess I'll have to take a little longer look into this. One of the problems I was having was that uh, there was not water in all of the systems, and there wasn't water in this one. Which is why we kept getting uh, the same campfires over and over again. So I'm going through and making them all see through so I can see what's happening. And what do you know? I did it again. There wasn't water in the dye one either. Okay, so after extensive testing, I have figured out what was wrong. Um, I had this water source, or this uh, pressure plate, put right here. So when this dispenser was dispensing, it just didn't have enough oomph to get over that, probably because it was wool. So I fixed that. So now, it will give us the five blocks for, unfortunately, uh, this one doubled up on oak. And then if we just hit this, all of the... Items from the that are in the dispensers will empty into it, and then I can painfully restock this. So I'm going to give it one run now to get the block pallet for uh, making this. Okay, and the block pallet we are going to get is, as it filters in here, terracotta, cobblestone, gravel, gray... Oh, no, it, it's correct. We've got five blocks and a die. So shroom lights... And this block palette is what we're going to use to uh, build this. I preferred the one first one, but uh, yeah, this this will work. In fact, it'll probably look really cool, too. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I have to use gray terracotta, so this works really well. I can't wait to start building this. All right, I remember why uh, I went and spent so long trying to get wither skulls. We're, we're going to go take on the wither right now. But I do have all of the resources to uh, start working on this. Um, but I want a little break, so we're going to go take on the wither the cheesy way. Okay, the cheesy method is almost set up. I just have to put or shear all these golems, get a bunch of chickens so I can get some wither roses. And yeah, we're good. Now all we have to do is put the last wither skull on and uh, we're good. I'm going to seal this up just a little bit. Just so... Uh, Things don't go awry. Um, yeah, we're doing it. Oh, I shall uh, probably should have picked those up. Let's get those picked up. We'll run out here to the little hole that... Hopefully, chickens 
haven't escaped from. And uh, the wither seems to have already blown into the hole that I was in, so that's not good. Guess I'm going in after all. If I'm not careful, these iron golems are going to kill me. Uh, I have made a mistake. So I guess we're fighting this one without the golems. And all of the chickens seem to have escaped somehow. Well, that's fun. This was a... this was a mistake. I don't even know where he is. He's up there, facing chickens. Yeah, this has gone horribly wrong. It's just a oh. Maybe I can... It's not like I haven't fought the Wither before. I just was hoping the golems were going to do everything. Okay, let's see. Can we, can we release the golems to help us? Come on, golems. Come here. Come help. Will you help? I can't even see him. He's up in the ceiling. Oh, this is... This is not gone to plan. I should have brought Riff with me. Oh, he's right there. That was my own arrow. the hole. Oh, run! And eat! Oh. Okay. The iron golems helped in the end. Oh, that was... That did not go to plan. I did not go to plan at all. Plus all the chickens. Oops, I'm about to die. No, please don't die. Plus all the chickens escaped. Now there's just going to be a ton of chickens down here. Oh, that did not go to plan. Ugh. Then set did not go to plan, and that was that was just that was bad. Burning six diamonds. Yep, there they go. And I realized I turned all of my glass uh, that I had into uh, gray glass, so we now have a beacon. The, the, I, I messed that fight up horribly, especially since I died. I don't need that many, I just need that. I'm going to put the beacon probably right about here, for now. I'm going to have to fight a bunch more withers, but we're going to do it a little bit more uh, gracefully next time. And properly. And we have a beacon. I clicked too fast. We don't, because... This is only a quarter of the pyramid, but still, got a beacon. And now we have a full beacon. Now just to charge it, and we are good. Helps if I put that in there. Uh, 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 what am I doing wrong? What I'm doing wrong is the bridge is right above the hole. Oops. Now the beacon's on. So now I can go back down and charge it, but I'm going to do it the safe way-ish. I should survive this. Yep, thought so. Alright, now I can do haste, haste. Boom. Finally have haste. I know it doesn't work so well on uh, Deep Slate and all, but now I can get cobble a lot more effortlessly now. This is just when so worth it. All right, so I've got the basic uh, front design down now. Um, I still have to incorporate the stone and the... Oh, the stone and the gravel. Mm. That's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, maybe. But uh, kind of liking how it's looking so far. I may do the some stone and gravel in the, the floor here, but I do want to try and incorporate it in the top as well. 
All right, so I finished off uh, the build. I'm really not happy with the roof. I need to figure out some way to make that look a little bit better. Uh, but if we come around here, because I needed access to uh, refill all of the droppers, I did use gravel as kind of like a, a asphalt roof here. I'll have to replace some of this other stuff. I guess I can replace this stuff with uh, some of this with gravel as well to get rid of the wool. And maybe I'll do the same for down here. I'll just have to rewire everything. But the biggest thing is, I just really am not too happy with uh, the roof. It needs some more variety. I do like how I use the mangrove roots. Uh, those look really good. In fact, I can probably... Oh, I think I moved everything. I moved everything uh, already. Uh, but I could use them to kind of hide the entrance here as well. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, this is all done. And... Uh, I'm going to work on it just a little bit more. Maybe I'll I'll do something with the bricks to make it look a little bit nicer. But I'm happy with it. I know it's not the best, but uh, it works. And the next thing I want to do is uh, build a little area for this uh, portal. And since I painstakingly went through and restocked everything, we'll give this a go here. Make sure that's up. We'll see what... Oh, I left this in. That's okay. That's all pretty easy stuff to do. Okay, I'm going to get working on uh, the portal here real quick. Okay, I have the supplies to work on the uh, nether portal here, but I'm going to have to move it. So I need flint and steel, which I don't have. So I'm going to have to get that real quick. Never mind, one of my flint and steels ended up in one of these barrels. So that works. These blocks are so much fun to put down. So nice to listen to. Okay, this was a lot harder than I thought. Uh, mostly because I wanted to hide the iron. Because it just doesn't fit in this uh, in this color scheme. Um, I do like the purple floor. And it sounds nice to run on. You can't really hear it. Hold on. Okay, I have no idea which video setting the, am or, yeah, the amethyst shards are on. It's a very subtle chime as you run along it. Um, otherwise, this looks, this looks terrible. Um, it's, it, I don't know what else to do here, really. That helped it, not at all. That doesn't look any better whatsoever. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss. I'll have to ask Riff, uh, possibly next episode and see if she has any ideas for, uh, this, this palette. Because it's, it's, it's something. And I just realized I forgot the prismarine, so I'm going to have to uh, incorporate this now, somehow. Okay, well, it kind of helps. Ooh, that purple through the door is really cool. The orange, uh, the orange really doesn't come through. But it's not, it's not terrible. Like I said, I'm going to have to ask Griff, see if she has any ideas on how to improve this, because this one, I just don't know what to do, other than maybe... Making the roof taller. That might help. Okay, I added some more layers to the top there, and it it, it helped. I just, I don't know what else to do. This is, uh, this color palette was uh, not exactly great. But if you have any suggestions, please leave them below, because that would help me out. Uh, I think that's, that's that building sorted. Then, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out for it. So I think the last thing I'm going to do is uh, work on the library. I need to get the palette for the library, and hopefully uh, this isn't this isn't horrible. But let's uh, let's see what we get. Oh, gotta take those out. Throw them back in here real quick. Oh, the fires need to go over here. Oh, I couldn't put the fires in there. That's all right. We'll just throw them right there. Okay, I saw black concrete, so we've got uh, acacia, well, we've got a lot of wood, so we've got yellow concrete powder, which is okay, acacia, spruce, mangrove, amethyst, and soul campfires again. These are going to be annoying to uh, build in place to decorate the area. The rest of it is okay. I'm going to uh, take a picture with my phone so I don't forget. Uh, but this is going to be uh, definitely interesting. So spruce, mangrove, that's going to be hard. 
Acacia, amethyst, and yellow concrete. That is definitely going to be a unique, uh, unique library. And what could we have had? I'm glad I didn't get the sands or the gravel. Pink and gray and brown and blue. That would have been okay. Really would have preferred the end rods, but I don't think we did too, too bad. It's definitely going to be a very unique library. That's for sure. In fact, I'm going to add uh, a little extra here. Somewhere. Maybe right here. Just so that uh, I can keep the block palette that has chosen for me in here. We have enough spare that uh, I should be able to do this without too much trouble. I only want one set. So I'm going to need more wood. No. That's not enough. We'll get some acacia signs here. I'm just going to put on here... That way I know uh, what block palette I'm going to have to use for the library. And I'll leave some other stuff here too eventually. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I did not get nearly as much done as I thought I did over the weekend. In fact, I barely got anything done. I don't want that. I want the barrels. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, do a lot next weekend um, and hope that I can... Uh, Get a few more things done. I'm glad I have the beacon. Um, I'm happy I finally have this shop now so that I can start building buildings. Although this library is going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. But until next time, thank you for watching, and hopefully you have a good rest of your day.